Proto-Indo-Iranian or Proto-Indo-Iranic is the reconstructed proto-language of the Indo-Iranian, Indo-Iranic branch of Indo-European. Its speakers, the hypothetical Proto-Indo-Iranians, are assumed to have lived in the late 3rd millennium BC, and are often connected with the Sintashta culture of the Eurasian steppe and the early Andronovo archaeological horizon. Proto-Indo-Iranian was a Satim language, likely removed less than a millennium from the late Proto-Indo-European language, its ancestor, and in turn removed less than a millennium from the Vedic Sanskrit of the Rigveda, its descendant. It is the ancestor of the Indo-Aryan languages, the Iranian languages, and the Nuristani languages. <laughs> Descriptive phonology In addition to the vowels, asterisk h, and asterisk r, could function as the syllabic core. Topic. Two palatal series Proto-Indo-Iranian is hypothesized to contain two series of stops or affricates in the palatal to postalveolar region. The phonetic nature of this contrast is not clear, and hence they are usually referred to as the primary or first series asterisk C asterisk J asterisk, continuing Proto-Indo-European palatovelar asterisk K asterisk G asterisk and the second or secondary series asterisk C asterisk, asterisk, continuing Proto-Indo-European plain and labialized velars, asterisk K, asterisk G, asterisk G and asterisk K, asterisk G, asterisk G, in palatalizing contexts. The following table shows the most common reflexes of the two series Proto-Iranian is the hypothetical ancestor to the Iranian languages, including Avestan and Old Persian. Laryngeal Proto-Indo-European is usually hypothesized to have had three to four laryngeal consonants, each of which could occur in either syllabic or non-syllabic positions. In Proto-Indo-Iranian, the laryngeals merged as one phoneme, asterisk h. Beeks suggests that some instances of this, asterisk h, survived into Avestan as unwritten glottal stops. Topic. Accent Like Proto-Indo-European and Vedic Sanskrit and also Avestan, though it was not written down, Proto-Indo-Iranian had a pitch accent system similar to present-day Japanese, indicated by an acute accent over the accented vowel. Topic. Historical phonology The most distinctive phonological change separating Proto-Indo-Iranian from Proto-Indo-European is the collapse of the oblouting vowels asterisk e, asterisk o, asterisk a into a single vowel, Proto-Indo-Iranian asterisk a, but see Brugman's law. Grassmann's law, Bartolomé's law, and the Ruki sound law were also complete in Proto-Indo-Iranian. A fuller list of some of the hypothesized sound changes from Proto-Indo-European to Proto-Indo-Iranian follows. The satim shift, consisting of two sets of related changes. The pi palatals asterisk k asterisk g asterisk are fronted or affricated, eventually resulting in p asterisk c asterisk j asterisk, while the pi labiovelars asterisk k asterisk g asterisk g merge with the velars asterisk k asterisk g asterisk g, the pi liquids asterisk l asterisk r asterisk l asterisk r merge as asterisk r asterisk r. The pi syllabic nasals asterisk m, asterisk n, merge with asterisk a, Bartolomé's law, and aspirate immediately followed by a voiceless consonant becomes voiced stop plus voiced aspirate. In addition, d plus t greater than dd, the Ruki rule, asterisk s is retracted to asterisk s when immediately following a liquid asterisk r asterisk r, asterisk l asterisk l, a high vowel asterisk i asterisk u, a pi velar asterisk k asterisk g asterisk asterisk k asterisk g asterisk g asterisk k asterisk g asterisk g or the syllabic laryngeal asterisk h. Its allophone asterisk z likewise becomes asterisk z, before a dental occlusive, asterisk c becomes asterisk s and asterisk j becomes asterisk z, asterisk also becomes asterisk z, with aspiration of the occlusive, the sequence asterisk c's was simplified to asterisk ss, the second palatalization, or law of palatals, 
Asterisk K asterisk G asterisk G develop palatal allophones asterisk C asterisk asterisk before the front vowels asterisk I asterisk E through an intermediate asterisk K asterisk G asterisk G Brugman's law asterisk O in an open syllable lengthens to asterisk O the vowels asterisk E asterisk O merge with asterisk A similarly asterisk E asterisk O merge with asterisk A this has the effect of giving full phonemic status to the second palatal series asterisk c asterisk asterisk. In certain positions, laryngeals were vocalized to asterisk i. This preceded the second palatalization, following a consonant, and preceding a consonant cluster following a consonant and word final. Indo European laryngeals all merged into one phoneme asterisk h, which may have been a glottal stop. This was probably contemporary with the merging of asterisk e and asterisk o with asterisk a. According to Lobotsky's law, asterisk h disappeared when followed by a voiced nonaspirated stop and another consonant. Topic. Subsequent sound changes Among the sound changes from Proto Indo Iranian to Indo Aryan is the loss of the voiced sibilant asterisk z, among those to Proto Iranian is the de aspiration of the pi voiced aspirates. See also Substratum in Vedic Sanskrit References Topic. Bibliography Beeks, Robert Stephen Paul 1988. A Grammar of Gatha Vestan. Leiden, New York, Brill. ISBN 90-04-08332-4. Burrow, T. 2001. The Sanskrit Language First Indian ed. Delhi, Mutalal Banarsidass. ISBN 81-208-1767-2. Fortson, Benjamin W. 2004. Indo-European Language and Culture, An Introduction Illustrated ed. Malden, M.A., Blackwell Publishing. ISBN 1-4051-0316-7. Lobotsky, A.M. The System of Nominal Accentuation in Sanskrit and Proto-Indo-European. Leiden, New York, Brill. ISBN 90-04-08835-0. Alexander Lobotsky, The Indo-Iranian Substratum, in Early Contacts Between Uralic and Indo-European, ed. Karpelin et al., Helsinki 2001. Asko Parpola, The Formation of the Aryan Branch of Indo-European, in Blench and Spriggs, eds., Archaeology and Language 3, London and New York 1999.